Hello, 8th graders. We are going to continue activity 2, digestion of starch. Digestion of starch. During digestion, starch undergoes a chemical transformation ensured by the action of the digestive enzymes. Salivary amylase digests starch into maltose and maltose is a reducing sugar. Maltase is another enzyme that digests maltose into glucose. This is the aim of the following experiment. Digestion of starch in vitro. In vitro means outside the body, as we said before. At the beginning of the experiment, at t equals zero, three test tubes are inserted or dipped in a bath of water at 37 degrees celsius tube a contains distilled water and starch paste or cooked starch tube b contains salivary amylase it is an enzyme found in the saliva and cooked starch tube c contains salivary amylase and maltase also it contains cooked starch the aspects of the three test tubes is turbid at the beginning of the experiment. After 20 minutes, the aspect of tube A is turbid while the aspects of tubes B and C is clear. Results of the experiment. At time t equals 0, tube A, B, tube A, which was containing distilled water and uh, cooked starch, tube B, which was containing salivary amylase and cooked starch or starch paste, cooks, uh, tube C, which was containing starch paste and um, salivary amylase enzyme and also maltase enzyme, gave positive result with iodine water. This indicates that starch is present and also they gave a negative result with a failing solution. This indicates that the absence of reducing sugar. At t equal 20 minutes, tube A gave the same result as, as at t equal 0. It gave positive result with iodine water and negative result with, uh, reduce, with the failing solution. This indicates that starch is present and reducing sugar is absent. While tube B and C gives negative result with iodine water, this indicates that starch is absent, and positive result with failing solution, this indicates that reducing sugar is present. How to interpret the experiment? At T equals zero in a water bath and at 37 degrees Celsius, test tube A, which was containing distilled water and starch paste, test tube B which was containing salivary amylase and starch paste, and test tube C, which was containing salivary amylase, maltase, and starch paste, gave a positive result with iodine test. This indicates that they contain starch. Tubes A, B, and C gave negative result with failing solution. This indicates that reducing sugar is absent. At T equal 20 minutes, the results remain the same in tube A, while tubes B and C gave a negative result with iodine test and a positive result with Fehling test. This indicates that starch is absent and reducing sugar is present. As a conclusion, salivary amylase digests starch into reducing sugar. Before, we said that maltose is a reducing sugar and also glucose is all a reducing sugar. Glucose is a monosaccharide. Aspect of the two test tubes. At t equals zero, at the beginning of the experiment, the aspect of the three test tubes is turbid, while at the end of the experiment, the aspect of tube A is turbid, whereas the aspect of tubes B and C is clear. This means that digestion takes place in tubes B and C. This is a schematic representation for the digestion of starch. Starch is a complex molecule made up of many units of glucose. Here is a unit of a glucose, here is the second unit, so starch is a chain of many glucose units.
In the presence of salivary amylase, the salivary amylase digests starch into maltose. This is the action of the salivary amylase. So, starch in presence of salivary amylase gives maltose. Then, in the presence of maltase, maltase is an enzyme that digests starch, uh, digests maltose into glucose. This is the action of maltase. It separates the two glucose units. So, starch is digested for, uh, first into maltose, and then maltose is digested by the action of maltase into simple nutrients that are called glucose. Thank you.